What's up guys, Beast Mode Chili Reviews, and I'm recording indoors today, so it's quite late at night, but I wanted a snack. So this is the last of the Scarily Spicy Range. This is the um, Cheesy Pork Sausages, and as you see here, it's got the five chili rating. It says here it's made with jalapenos and uh, habaneros. So my brother said this is quite hot, but I'm guessing it's probably a similar heat to um, a lot of the other Scarily Spice stuff I've tried. Now, um, it's just in the air fryer at the minute, that's probably what you're hearing in the background. So it's got another three minutes to go. You put it in for 14 minutes. There's six grams of protein in each sausage, so I put five in. And um, on the back here it says it's made with water, habanero chili, cheddar cheese, processed cheese, milk proteins. Uh, there's a bunch of different preservatives in this. And... Um, Paprika extract, so there's, there's some paprika extract, there's jalapeno chili, I'm looking for Carolina, oh, there we go, yep, Carolina Reaper chili powder. So even though it says habaneros and jalapenos, it's got Carolina Reaper in it. So this is gonna be quite hot. Um, it's also got an extract of some kind in it, so there's a yeast extract as well, garlic powder. Yeah, um, it should be about ready, so. Here we go guys, this is the Scary Spicy Cheesy Pork Sausages. Okay, and they're done. Now, as I said, guys, they're done in the air fryer. Straight away, I've noticed that there is a lot of oil. Um, let's see if the camera can pick this up in one second. I may end up having to take it off the tripod to show you guys, actually. Let's go down here. And look at all that. So there is a lot of oil running off of this, and I'm guessing that stuff is quite hot, so I just think we'll try this. Yeah, straight away, that is hot. Okay, so that is like, um, well, it's a mixture of reapers and stuff, but it does have a, a good frontal heat, which is interesting. So, um, yeah, you can tell they've been loaded. That's, that's getting me on the tip of my tongue, a little bit on the throat. What I've got for a sauce is this Baldak Samyang sauce. So this is actually similar sort of heat to the uh, noodles, maybe slightly hotter, uh, but it's it tastes exactly the same. And uh, these these noodles are seemingly way hotter than the 4,000 or 8,000 in the case of the 2K than they say um, online. But yeah, we use this as a sauce. So what I'm going to do is move this down just a little bit. Go back actually, I think. There we go. I think I need to go back even more. Yeah, this is not the ideal place to be doing this, but there you go. All right, guys. So first off, let's get this on there. Now, these are going to be quite hot. I can already tell. And um, we'll try one without first. Just put in all of that oil. Yeah, they're still really hot. Might have to um, get a fork for this, to be fair. Oh, it's nice. It's got a Carolina Reaper slash chili taste and cheese at the same time. You get double here there. These are really nice. I think these are the last, the last scarily spicy um, items I have from Iceland, so. Yeah, um, actually, funny enough, these are a lot hotter than the skewers. Mmm, they're hot. It's a good heat to them. That's what they look like inside. I'm gonna get a knife because it's um, fork. Because there's too much on the So I definitely think these are the hottest of the um, scary spice that I've tried so far. It's getting me on the end of the tongue, funny enough. The flavor is really good. Yeah. 
good flavour to these. Now I'm not sure if I seem to stop doing these now since because obviously I bought these just before Halloween so that's when they were a big thing. Perhaps they do it every year because I know that a few years back they did the scarily spicy pizza. So the first one gone. I mean, if you watch my reviews, guys, you'll see I've done pretty much all of their range. Um, I think the skewers and the chicken wings, maybe the chicken wings were harsher. I think the skewers were, were lower down. Uh, there was a couple of other items that were not rated as hot. Um, on the front of these things, it just says the same. It just says five star chilies. Um, but some, some of them don't seem to have Carolina Reaper in them. So, and some of them do. This one does. using that oil make sure you dip it in oil because it adds to the heat it's obviously something that it's a bit of runoff that's come from the sausages um, obviously they're very hot because they've just come out but it doubles on top of the heat and um, I'm not really getting a lot of background heat or anything on the back of the throat it's all just on the tongue at the minute funny enough but, Just after eating two of these, I would give them maybe a seven, eight out of 10 for the average person. That's another one down. Um, yeah, no, there is definitely a good heat to them. Nothing compared to the Pepper X curry that came from Iceland, but these are still really hot. coated in that sanyo. You could definitely make this hotter if you just dip it in all of that chili oil that's running off. Ah. Oh. So you can see the cheese there in the middle. There's like a plug of cheese all the way through it, which is pretty nice. That's why it's got such a good taste to it. Certainly some of the best sausages I've tried. Uh, like I said, I would give these probably 7, 8 out of 10 for heat and um, for flavour probably an 8 or a 9, they're really nice. So. Hot. I think if you were to let all these cool down, those heat ratings would come straight down. That's got to be a fact. <coughs> Where it's <coughs> piping hot, you know. Right, we're on sausage number four. <coughs> it's giving me a tickly cough in the throat. So, how did you get these in a pack? Okay, so it's ten. So I've gone for about half a pack. I think adding that sort of ramps the heat up as, as well. So Tolerance has definitely gone up, <clears throat> but there is still a nice burn on the front. More of a frontal burn, these are. And I would have expected it to be more background heat, but it's, um, yeah, good heat to them. Just making my nose run a little bit. 
I think it's mixing that with the Sam Yang. I've got to review this at some point. Definitely didn't say the least to last for these. He's really good. Um, yeah, I think the skewers were probably nearer the bottom for the heat. So start with those if you're looking at this range. That's it. <clears throat> it's manageable. Definitely a manager of that heat. Just. Um, you know, get the eyes watering a little bit. More frontal heat. I'll probably keep the rating about a seven. Um, for the average person, for me, these would be lower down. But uh, I try to sort of do my reviews based on how I think a normal person would react to them. So it may change at some point. Well, guys, thank you very much for watching. Check through the channel and see some of the hottest stuff I've done. I am about to upload a um, video of my mum's uh, stone-baked pizza machine. And then I crushed some homegrown... Uh, Trinidad Scorpion on the top of that, cut them, sorry. Um, so, yeah, I may upload that very shortly. So if you guys want to see that, let me know. Thanks for watching. If you watch this far, and see you next time.